So I've spent over a month with what a lot of people are calling one of the best laptops of the year for creative professionals and gamers, of course, the Legion 5i Pro. Now, I've yet to test the Legion 5 Pro, which would be the Ryzen version of this Intel i7-12700 RTX 3060 equipped laptop. And so we'll see when Ryzen puts out its 6000 series and I can get my hands on it the comparison. Now, I personally believe that this laptop is going to overtake that one before I even get that one in the studio. Reason being is we're seeing much cooler temperatures, much quieter fan noise out of most Intel laptops this year than any of the Ryzen laptops I have seen so far. For instance, I just reviewed my one month review of the Asus Tough A15, a Ryzen 6800H, and it was a louder and hotter laptop. And I'm almost 100% certain that that same type of performance will end up in the Legion series. I could be proved wrong, but that's my guess so far. Now, I will say that if you're looking at this laptop for the Intel version, it can be anywhere from around $1,800 to $2,300 or so how you get it configured. So it's not really a budget machine by any stretch of the imagination. It fits more into that mid to even high-end premium category as far as budgets are concerned. And it is a great build. It has an aluminum top cover and aluminum bottom cover, a really nice large trackpad, and this full-size keyboard with a numpad. Nice keys, quiet, really firm, great response, nice and tactile for the keyboard. I honestly wish the trackpad was a little bigger, so if I'm gonna have a complaint about the whole setup here with keyboard and trackpad, I'm gonna say I wish this was a little bit bigger. Um, overall though, it's a great keyboard, a lot of nice function buttons along the top row, quickly access the things that you need. I mean, I'm gonna give you a quick audio sample of the keyboard and trackpad in use so you can hear how that sounds. Also, for those of you who didn't catch my full review, here is the webcam so you can check out what that looks like. This is the camera on the Legion 5i Pro and a little audio sample for you as well. When I back up a little bit, it kind of mellows out. When I get really close, I'm really close to my light. So the camera actually looks pretty good, especially for that 720p webcam. Now, one thing I love about these one month reviews is it gives me a little bit more time with the laptop to check out more of the performance settings inside of the Lenovo Vantage Center. So I can see how well this laptop performs, not only at its greatest performance level, which is where most people test the laptops, but I test the laptops at every single performance level to see how well it performs if you want to maybe say save on battery life or not have such a hot laptop or have quieter fan noise. So first and foremost, let's kick it off inside of Photoshop. And as you can see, the lowest Photoshop score that this laptop accomplishes is still a 753, which is a fantastic score for Photoshop. So if you're going to be using this laptop for Photoshop, you can get all the way up to 970 on performance mode, and you're only at 40 decibels of fan noise and 64 degrees Celsius at the CPU. That's why this is one of the best laptops of the year. Not only does it have a big screen, it performs well, it runs cool, it runs quiet, and it is built well. It's a well-built laptop. A little thicker and chunkier than I would personally prefer, but it definitely has a great build quality. Now, looking at the 3D modeling benchmarks, I actually ran GPU overclock and was able to get some really good scores. So as you can see coming up on the screen, and the cool thing is if you run actually on regular performance mode, you'll get a 64 degrees Celsius on the CPU and 72 degrees Celsius on the GPU, and then you'll get an 80 degrees Celsius on the CPU and 78 degrees Celsius on the GPU for overclock mode. So if you're doing 3D modeling, this laptop actually runs pretty cool on performance mode, which surprised me. I thought this laptop would get a lot hotter. Really, any laptop gets hotter because you're pushing so much information through the laptop. So again, remaining cool while doing heavy tasks, making this laptop uh, more confirmation towards one of the best laptops of the year for creative professionals. Now, the next thing I want to look at is After Effects scores. And this is one area where I saw it dip quite a bit when I was on battery power only. So you got all the way down to about a 332 for After Effects compared to the 900 on performance mode when you're plugged into the charger. So whereas when you were on Photoshop, you still held a really nice high score while you were only on battery life. Um, it didn't really translate so much to After Effects. I believe that's a lot due to how much GPU usage that has to take place during the After Effects benchmark. Uh, whereas in Photoshop, you're not using as much GPU, and so it really didn't affect the score as much. 
because when you're not plugged into the charger, your GPU is not gonna be able to have as much power pushing through it. It needs the power from the wall, that big 300 watt charger brick to push the power through and give you the performance you need. And that would be probably one of the negatives of this system is the big charger block that is pretty much required to run full performance for this laptop. You know, that's one of the big arguments that people had when all of the M1 Max and M1 Pros launched from Apple is that you didn't have to be plugged into the charger to get full performance out of the laptop. And although this is a benefit, it definitely leads to a more expensive product. The M1 Max were anywhere from $3,800 all the way up to $7,000, where you can get into this Legion 5i Pro for around uh, $1,800 to $2,300. Depending on how you have it configured, you can use the link in the description below to check out the live pricing and the configurations that you're interested in. Now, if you do use that, of course, I will get a commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. So that's probably my biggest disclaimer between maybe going with an Apple product versus a you know Windows-based product is that you're gonna have to bring the charger block along with you. I personally have never found this a huge issue. I'm never out in a remote location where I can't get plugged into power. All the places that I work, I have easy access to power. I don't mind bringing my charger block along with me. It's just a personal preference. And the more and more that I use laptops for creative work, actually the more I continue to prefer Windows over Apple. Not to say I don't love Apple for a number of reasons. It's not saying they don't have a super easy operating system to use. I often prefer it if I'm just doing basic like web browsing or business tasks on my computer. But if I'm creating, I'm moving around a lot of files, I'm keeping things organized, I've been preferring Windows more and more lately. However, I will probably be reviewing an M1 or the M2 Air sometime soon. So we'll see how that performs and see how I feel about it. All right, while we're on a semi-negative train talking about the charger block, let's talk about that battery life. The battery life is not really that great, and that's, again, why you're going to want to bring the charger block along with you. Add a max battery life during the Passmark productivity benchmark, you're going to get around seven hours of battery life. Now, while streaming video, about six hours, using Photoshop, about five hours, and while using Premiere Pro, running playback on the project, it's about three hours and 27 minutes. Now, that is with the Lenovo Vantage set to iGPU mode, quiet mode. You get the screen panel saver, so you know you're running like 60 hertz through the screen. And so that is where you're gonna get that battery life result. As soon as you bump it up, and I ran more battery life tests for y'all, on hybrid mode, balanced mode, that Passmark productivity drops substantially. Then when you move to hybrid mode, quiet mode, you get a little bit more battery life on that, but not much more. So really, IGP mode's where you're gonna get the most battery, but you're not gonna have the most performance. So that's where one of the area that this laptop really suffers is gonna be battery life. And that's gonna be most high performing gaming laptops that you run into. The one laptop that I really think stands out for battery life is the Zephyrus G14, the Zephyrus M16, and the Zephyrus G15. Those have continued to blow me away with how much battery life they get out of those Ryzen 9 6900 HS series processors. All right, now let's get back into some things that I like. If you are a creative professional, this panel is bright and color accurate. So it's a great choice. It has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. I really love the aspect ratio. It makes it great for video editing. You can stack all of your project files on this screen with ease. You can see your timeline, your production monitor, everything looks really good on this panel. And of course, one of the reasons that this laptop is being named by a lot of people one of the top performers of the year is on average, for the price point, it's hitting the top of the charts. Now there's a few other laptops, say with like i9s or RTX 3080 Ti's that are getting results higher than the Legion 5i Pro. But being that this laptop is a reasonably priced laptop for the performance you just can't beat it. Now, if you're somebody considering this laptop and you're thinking, okay, I'm thinking the HP Omen, I'm thinking maybe the Zephyrus G15, I've run head-to-head -head reviews uh, for those laptops, and I have my full dedicated review if you wanna see all the intricate benchmarks for this laptop. So definitely click or tap the screen here if you wanna check those out. Otherwise, links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you wanna miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.